Hi everybody, Barbara here at Country Lily Decor and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you've watched my channel before, welcome back. I'm so glad to have each and every one of you here. I'm very humbled by all the beautiful comments you left on my last video. And it's kind of inspired me to put this video out a little sooner rather than later. And I'm just very, very appreciative of all of you. So thank you for being here with me. I'm super excited about this project today. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And although I'm not gonna be using this outdoors, I will be using it for indoor use only, I do look forward to making this project for outdoor use sometime in the near future. So what I'm gonna be making today is a barn quilt. Um, if you're not familiar with a barn quilt, Deborah Grove started this about two decades ago in Ohio to honor her mother who was a quilter. My grandmother was a quilter and I think this is just a beautiful way to honor them. And I think that they are just gorgeous and you see them all over the place where I live. They're on people's barns, buildings, homes. It's just a wonderful, beautiful decoration. So um, with that being said, I'm super excited to get into this project, so let's get started. For this project, I used two packages of wood planks that come six in a pack, two canvas frames, and some foam board, all purchased at the Dollar Tree. I used three different colors of acrylic paint, painter's tape, hot glue. I used E6000 instead of the Gorilla Glue. And I also used a pair of pliers and a screwdriver to get the staples out of the frame. I take the frames apart and pull the staples out with the screwdriver and the pliers. And then I break apart the wood. I ended up not using these two frames because the ends butted up together and I liked the mitered look. And I happen to have two other frames purchased at Dollar Tree that did have the miter cut. So I ended up using those instead. After I am finished taking them apart, I do sand them down, getting ready to paint them. I take the wood planks and I use six from one package and three from another, lay them down on the foam board with the wood grain facing all in the same direction. And then I take a box cutter and trim the two edges of the foam board so that it will match the wooden planks. I then take four of the nine planks and take painter's tape and run it from one corner to the other corner to make a triangle. And then I'm also going to run the painter's tape from the opposite corner down to the opposite corner to make a triangle in quarter sections of each board. Once they fully dried, I run the painter's tape from the opposite corner down, making another triangle opposite of the previous triangle. And on the lighter grays, I paint the opposite color lighter gray again, and opposite of the dark gray, I paint white, and opposite of the white, I paint gray, the dark gray. And I put two coats of those and remove the tape before the paint dries. I take the five other planks and paint them all a dark gray, the steel gray. I put two coats and I also paint the edges of each one. And then I set those to the side, allowing them to fully dry. I take the painter's tape and run it from the opposite corner down creating a triangle opposite of the previously painted triangle. And I paint the lighter gray opposite the lighter gray and then white opposite the dark gray. I put two coats on and then remove the painter's tape while the paint is still wet and allow those to completely dry. And then I repeat this process until I have four pieces that have a dark gray opposite the white and two light grays opposite each other.
Aside from the two canvas frames, I had to use one piece of wood that came in a pack at um, Walmart that I've had for a while. It was the same width, and I mitered those edges down in order to be able to match them together to make the frame the proper size for the barn quilt. I took the pieces that I had mitered and I used E6000 and hot glue to put each side together. So I placed each section together to make each side of the frame. The E6000 is just more of a permanent bond and the hot glue to hold it in place until that bond sets up. And then I painted each one of the sides of the frame white with two coats of a semi-gloss white paint that I already had on hand. I then glued the planks to the foam board using E6000 and hot glue. I started by the, using the top edge because it was the straightest edge and I put the four dark gray planks in each corner, one dark gray in the middle, and then I put the designs in the other four places left on the board. I then attached each side of the frame using E6000 and hot glue and let that set up overnight. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I think it is so beautiful and I just love the colors. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun making this project. I think it turned out so beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.